The image of an American farm most of us have in our minds is one of a sweeping pastoral field in the Midwest, with a farmer riding a big John Deere over his acreage. He's still out there on that tractor, but there's also a new kind of farmer, working indoors with computers, who very well may have grown the food on your table this morning. Morgan Radford shines our Sunday spotlight on the vertical farming that's changing the way we get our food. The classic American farm conjures familiar scenes, vast plains, sunny skies, and endless greenery. But just 10 miles from one of the biggest cities in the world. In a New Jersey warehouse, Irving Fain and his company Bowery are redefining the future of farming. Welcome to the farm. We're a hundred times more productive than the same square footage of farmland, and we save 95% of the water. A completely indoor farm, Bowery uses LED lights and purified water, a process known as hydroponics, to produce over a hundred types of vegetables, some that you might not even know existed. So this is a purple pak choy. Purple what? Pak choy. Pak choy. Yeah, yeah, you eat it right off the plant. It actually tastes fresh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's about as fresh as you can get. A fresh approach to feeding the world's growing population. On track to reach near 10 billion people by 2050, according to the United Nations. We need 50 to 70 percent more food, and 70 to 80 percent of those people are living in and around cities. So these are important questions. How do you provide more food to cities in a way that's more efficient and more sustainable? Between 2009 and 2014, the number of indoor growing facilities in the U.S. has nearly doubled. And experts say that produce grown indoors is a trend that could be the wave of the future. In order to meet the food needs of that burgeoning population, we will need to come up with a toolkit of approaches to ensure that we, humanity will have food. And hydroponic systems certainly are going to be part of the toolkit. But what about critics who say, look, this can't be natural. This is indoors, it's not in open air. What do you say? Our plants are growing in the same way that a plant grows outside. And in fact, a lot of our plants are actually growing in a healthier, cleaner way than the way produce we get outside is. There's no pesticides, no chemicals on this whatsoever. So 365 days a year, yep. you can grow inside. Absolutely. Using advanced sensors, information is gathered about each plant and then sent to a computer system where Bowery farmers analyze that data and make small adjustments. More light for this one, more nutrients for that one. No human eyeballing necessary. So if I called you up and said, hey Irving, I want some extra spicy arugula, you could actually create that. Yeah, we could actually change the way certain crops taste. We can make a mustard green spicier. We can make a butterhead lettuce even more bitter. And they do which is why food experts like famed restaurateur and top chef judge Tom Colicchio have even chosen to invest in Bowery. When I was introduced to, um, to Bowery, it just kind of completely changed my mind about hydroponics. Um, there's tons of flavor. Try that. Okay. Is this arugula? It's what arugula. This? It's wasabi arugula. hey yo. Right? <laughs> That's a kick. That's a kick, yeah. The intensity of the flavor, he says, goes with his favorite dishes. This is awesome. I can taste that wasabi. Right. Arugula. Back at Bowery, they claim the best vegetables are grown right next door. Our product is 24 to 48 hours from the time that we harvest it to when it actually reaches store shelves or reaches your table. So it's a lot fresher, it's more nutritious, it's better tasting, it's just a better product. For Sunday Today, Morgan Radford, Kearney, New Jersey. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.